Hi, <laughs> right. Seal All right, Beach. calling to order the Seal Beach, uh, City of Seal Beach Planning Commission meeting of May 7th, 2018. If I could uh, ask Commissioner Aguiar to lead us in the pledge. Yes, of course. Everyone, please stand, face the flag. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see, roll call. Ms. Roberts. Commis I'm sorry, Chair Thomas. Here. Vice Chair Klinger. Here. Commissioner Aguilar. Here. Commissioner Campbell. Here. Commissioner um, Gerges is absent. Yes, Commissioner Gerges uh, is excused from tonight's meeting. He had to recuse himself from the loan item, so uh, he would be here. He lives too close so. to it. Pardon me? He lives too close to it. Yes, he lives too close to it. So, so uh, let the record, if we could, reflect that uh, he's excused from tonight's meeting. It's the only one on, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Rob. <clears throat> Uh, okay, approval of agenda by motion of the Planning Commission. This is the time to notify the public of any changes to the agenda, rearranging the order of the agenda, and provide any oppor or an opportunity for any member of the Planning Commission or staff to request an item be removed from the consent calendar for separate action. So do we have any uh, commissioners? Do we have any comments on the agenda? <laughs> do you know me? I'm going to be like, can we move, can we move the, Vazo, can we move the any, one item to the other? <laughs> Actually, I do, uh, Director Londa Vaza, do we have something we have to say? Oh, no, no changes. No changes, okay, we're okay. Okay, no, so uh, do we have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. All right, so if we could vote. Sorry, I didn't know which one was mine. Wait, which button do I hit, the white one? It's been a while since we've been here. Yeah, reset it not with the white one. Oh, no, the silver one. You want us to vote again? Yeah, let's vote again. Sorry. Okay. Which one do I push? The white or the? Okay. No, They're on. No. Okay, we're all on. Okay. Yes. So, passes four zero. Thank you, everybody. That's what happens when we only meet uh, once every two said. months. <laughs> there we go. Okay, very good. Uh, all right, moving on to oral communications. At this time, members of the public may address the Planning Commission regarding any items within the subject matter jurisdiction of the Commission. Pursuant to the Brown Act, the Commission cannot discuss or take action on any of the items not on the agenda unless authorized by law. Those members of the public wishing to speak are asked to come forward to the microphone and state their name for the record. All speakers will be limited to a period of five minutes. So we are opening the floor for open communication, oral communications. Does anyone wish to address the Commission? All right, uh, we are closing oral communications. Thank you, everybody. All right, moving on to consent calendar. Uh, item one, approval of planning commission meeting minutes from February 20th, 2018. Do we have a motion? I move we approve. Second, but that's for the whole consent calendar, not just the first item. Uh, th thank you, Patty, I appreciate that. Yes, so we are, so we are, uh, so do we have a motion to, and also, I'm sorry, let me add to that. Uh, it's also approval of Planning Commission meeting minutes for March 19th, 2018. So it is both meetings on the consent calendar. So do we have a motion to approve the consent calendar? We have a move, motion to approve. Sure, I, I move we approve the consent calendar. Second. All right, we have a first and a second. Please vote. <clears throat> And we have 4-0. Thank you, everybody. Uh, moving on to scheduled matters. Uh, let's see. Item 3, conditional use permit, CUP 18-2213 17th Street. Applicant Stephen T. Anderson, staff uh, or director, Landa Vazo, do we have a staff report? Yes, Stephen Fowler will be giving the report tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Director Landa Vazo, chairman and fellow commissioners. This evening, item three is a conditional use permit to allow a 76 square foot addition to the residence and a 42 square foot front porch on a parcel that is non-conforming due to setbacks in the residential high density RHD 20 zoning area. The house is located on the west side of 17th Street. It's a single story, single family addition or single family <coughs> residence with a detached garage here at the rear, um, and is surrounded by residential uses. The existing front porch here 
in green is where the addition will take place. The applicant is asking to um, add that addition on and add a uh, also a front porch right here on this non-conforming property. The uh, a non a non-conforming property due to setbacks requires that a, the applicant apply for a conditional use permit and that's why it's here before you this evening because it is habitable space. The non-conformity is due to the detached garage which is here at the rear. It's required to be have a 24 foot setback minus the alley. The alley is a 12 foot wide alley so it's required to have a 12 foot setback right here and existing right now is only eight so it's non-conforming by four feet but this structure is not gonna to be touched um, in this application. The floor plan um, realistically doesn't change much. The addition here of the 76 square feet pushes out the living room and extends the dining room on the applicant's um, residence. And again, he's widening his front porch out here to the front, but it will still meet all required setbacks on the side and in the front yard. Um, just the nonconformity at the rear will be the same. Similar materials will be utilized from the existing, that are on the existing residence to the uh, new elevation here in the front. This is the existing uh, residence currently. Um, in your, in the resolution, we do have some corrections. In the description on the resolution, where it states a resolution of the Planning Commission of the City of Seal Beach approving conditional use permit 18-2, in the um, one that was handed out, it said 17-2, so that is one change. And in section one, the applicant's name is spelled with a PH, not a V, as, in, as indicated in the original um, resolution. And that's the same as in the uh, staff report. No correspondence has been received regarding the project. And with that, that concludes my presentation. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Any questions for Mr. Fowler? All right, uh, thank you, Steve. Uh, let's uh, open this uh, item up for public comment. Uh, is the applicant here? Would anyone like to say anything? Would you like to step up to the di dais? Uh, it's up to you. No. I think it's, the report speaks for itself. If anything, well, no. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> if anything, it's like, why would you go to the expense and the inconvenience to capture 76 square feet? Well, we don't make the rules, we enforce them, but yes, I understand. Uh, thank you. So, no one's stepping forward. We will close the public comment period. Uh, are there any comments from commissioners? We'll move for approval. Second. All right, very good. Uh, let's vote. Take your approval and run. <laughs> <laughs> it's 4-0. 4-0 uh, oh. approved. So, uh, enjoy your remodel. Thank you very much. And Mr. Chair, there's a 10-day appeal period from this decision, which starts running tomorrow. Thank you very, very much, Ms. Grayson. Uh, okay, let's see. Moving on. Let's see. I apologize. I, uh, let's see. Um, any continued items? I do not believe so. Uh, any new business? I kind of skipped over those things. New business. Do we have any new business? No. No new business? Uh, and then director's report. Do we have a director's report? Director Londa Vazo. I have no items at this time, but I can answer any questions that the commission may have. I have one question. Uh, when can we wear our Spooner shirts? <laughs> <laughs> that when usually starts schedule. Memorial Day. Memorial Day to Labor Day, I believe, is Memorial traditionally. This month. It's official. We don't have a summer schedule. No, but we have no for attire. Hawaiian oh, summer attire. Yeah. The Hawaiian okay. shirts and the attire. Do you all know why we dress casually? Because it's hot. <laughs> oh. oh, we had a lifeguard, AJ, mm -hmm. AJ Summers, and he was killed on one o'clock in the morning, Fourth of July. And out of respect, AJ was the kind of guy who was always around town in flip flops and a pair of swimming trunks and a t-shirt. And every now and then he'd come to a council meeting and he'd get dressed up and nobody recognized him, you know, because he cleaned up real good. 
And when he was hit, he was on his uh, riding home on two o'clock in the morning, one, one two o'clock in the morning on PCH around 17th Street. And, um, geez, I'm sorry. Scary story. See what happens when you start yeah. talking ghost stories? And when he was, he was hit by a, by a taxi cab and he was thrown 70 feet and killed instantly. And everybody in the city was so devastated. And so out of respect and love for AJ, everybody showed up at the next council meeting wearing very outrageous Hawaiian shirts and all of that. And they decided they'd do that for the summer. And they've been doing that ever since. And I'm trying to think of when AJ was killed. Um, probably in the late 1990s. So what... If what started out as something, you know, to honor AJ has evolved into summer attire. Very good. Well, we can continue to honor him even when we wear. Our... Hmm? So we can continue to honor him every, every yes, summer. Yes, anyway. he was a remarkable individual. When he died, when he was killed, the, the funeral. I mean, the fire departments, they came from all over. He was buried at, uh, up at Cypress at Forest Lawn. And it was an amazing, there were tons of people. Everybody loved AJ. He was just well known. Well, good. Now, now we have well, a better reason. Yeah. Thank you for that, Pat. So that's the history of that. Thank Very you. Very good. Very good. Uh, do we have anything uh, on the horizon? Any issues coming up that you're aware of? Anything interesting? Anything we should be researching before? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not allowed to research your items. Before. Anything we should uh, be anxious to uh, hear about at the council meeting? I mean, anything we, we about can, those? We can set up a refresher meeting? course with the city attorney's office. Anything about, the, any, anything about those zonings? We should do that. <laughs> Crystal, anything about those zonings that you and I discussed probably about two years now? Those zonings that need to be changed? Yeah, there's, um, there's a couple of projects. There's going to be two um, items. So one of them will probably be a code amendment probably later in the year. Um, and then there's just updates that we're probably going to have to do just to some of our existing okay, ordinances. Okay, because there, there's three of them here at Old Town and one in College Park East. Mm -hmm. And those mm -hmm. zonings need to be changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's some updates that are, okay. are going to be coming along. All right, very good. Uh, any commission concerns? All right, hearing nothing, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.